Welcome back to the Long Dark Interloper. Today we are in Trapper's Cabin. We have just killed a moose. We are going to ignore the moose. We we harvested the moose. We put down the hide. We put down the guts. Uh, we're not going to do anything with the meat yet. We're going to wander off to Forlorn Muskeg on an adventure while we wait for some bear pelts to cure. So I'm just going to take a quick little lap around the near end of Forlorn to maybe find the abandoned campsite and look at a couple of caves. If we get plucky, we might swing through, um, and if we find some scrap metal, we might swing through the forge to quickly make a couple more arrowheads. But that's just a maybe thing. It's not a real thing. So anyway, that's what we're going to do today. And no time like the present. <clears throat> I did remember there was a bear. Oh, it's a little... Damn it, there's a bear. Oh, we can get him on the way back. He doesn't go away like the moose does. So, it's not quite midday yet. When it becomes midday, we'll either get a blizzard or we'll get uh, clear weather, one of the two. Oh, I guess we could get fog. Either way, the, the weather's going to change in a couple hours. <laughs> kind of had an itch to look at this area of Forlorn because I haven't been there in a long time. And I, Turkey Steam went through it and... Uh, Made me remember some stuff. It's been many moons since I've been out there. Typically, I just go either on the back end by Marsh Ridge or uh, straight to the forge. I considered maybe going back to Pleasant Valley for a minute just to go loot uh, Signal Hill and some stuff, but honestly, <clears throat> nothing really down there we need, aside from more whetstones and stuff, and they'll be there later. Where can they find something to eat? I also considered the fact that the, my, my bad condition hide should probably be cured by now. Uh, so we had the possibility of continuing on to Milton, but then we'd still have to mill around Milton for three, four days for the other hide to finish. And, uh, looting houses doesn't have much appeal, and looting cars also doesn't have much appeal. Going to the crash site might be fun, and we may still be able to do that. If we go to the crash site, we get a stim and some stuff like that, and... I'm pretty sure I'm low on stems. I only got, I believe, one. Broken Railroad's where you get stems, though. There's at least two there, I think. Two of them might be random spawns that I lucked out on, but... Definitely one there for sure. Probably two. And I've definitely gotten three there. Still blows me away how well this guy gets through life. <clears throat> All right. If you've ever wondered what happens if you make a left here, we're about to find out. I know that wolves patrol pretty close to the track, but I don't know exactly where they go. Oh, and I have no decoy. Well, I think this might have been a little short-sighted. Probably tons of decoys in front of them. Yeah, fail. Alright, 
Well, <clears throat> we can certainly get a decoy off a wolf. We might just get ourselves hurt. Also, I did look to see that I was carrying no sticks. Oh, there he is right there. Okay. Huh. Well. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to deal with this guy. If he doesn't stop following me, yeah. So, we're going to go to this tree. Looks like a fine bear hunting tree. But it would also make a fine wolf hunting tree. Wolf losing tree, anyway. Looks like a fine wolf losing tree, but it is not. Alright. <laughs> I have a new friend. This tree over here I know I can climb. Put a bear over there. So I have no idea if this will work or not. But the goal is to climb this tree. The wolf will lose me, start milling around like a wolf does, and then I can shoot him. fall off the tree first. <laughs> it looks like I basically committed myself to falling off the tree eventually. Which is going to suck. Never been treed by a wolf before. Also, never this ineptly in a tree. Long drop. Okay, now we have a super stinky decoy. Take a quick look at clothing to see what ripped. Nothing major. Okay. Where were we? You might say that wasn't a fair fight, but I, I am a human with a brain. I don't fight fair.
I also didn't go back to the sapling, but Mr. Bear. I'm going to kind of shy away from that slope right there until we get over by this sapling. Because I'm sure he's not the only wolf that was up there. Well, I assume, anyway. I feel sure. He might be the only one. I believe there's a cave over here. And I believe this is a spot where the... Uh, or at least nearby where the... Uh, abandoned camp can be. It's been a long, long time since I went looking for abandoned camps, so I could be pretty wrong. I don't even remember what they have. I did look up on the wiki, there's three spawns. Two of them are on this side and one's over by the, uh, the low blind. So, we might not even find one over here. They seem to be, if I remember right, the, the few I've found before, or bothered to find before, are um, kind of tucked in little hollows up on these little flat areas in the trees. I'm not entirely sure. It's not somewhere else completely or somewhere over there. It also appears I wasn't correct 100% about the cave. I'm finding myself wanting to double check. Yeah, it's not here. It must be around the corner. There's an overlook area over here, too, that I haven't been to in a really long time. I've never felt so cold in my life. Avoiding that over there because there are similar areas like that on the map where they put thin ice right below a slope you can't climb. So you commit to the slope and then fail at it and then you wind up falling through the ice. And I'm not saying it is one of those, I'm just saying it looks like one so I'm not going to find out. Awfully close to that. Those two wolves for one scent bar not triggered them. Again, I'm pretty sure wind. Oh, three wolves. Wind direction matters a lot. Oh, just as I said that. Now I'm trying to do it again. I'm gonna have to fight these guys. Yeah.
as well get rid of this other guy too if I can. Oh, he was just on me by smell. Come on, buddy. There we go. These guys are cannibals. Or potential cannibals, anyway. Shooting too high. Funny how they they were learning how geography can trap people in this map. Oh, he's still running. Hopefully he dies over here so I can get my arrow back. The animals like to die on thin ice out here, which is kind of shitty. I do want to get to a cave though. For draining condition now. Oh, there it is! Sweet. Pry bar. It's ruined. <laughs> they gotta readjust uh, where they put the, the peaches in the soup. Cool. So that pry bar does make arrowheads, so. Cool. Oh, another wolf. Who's going to path funny? Oh, come on. I'm not that bad at bow. Pretty sure that arrow's hanging out of his face. I think this is where the overlook is. If I'm not mistaken. Do I have the speed bug again? I think I have that same slow bug I got with the rose hips the other day. Maybe not. Uh, this sucks. This is not the wind. I don't think I'm that burdened either. Oh, it was the, it was the... I don't understand. I'm only 37 kilos. I need to get to a damn cave. clue what I harvested, but I'm definitely bugged. If, if I quit and restart right now, I'm going to go pop right back to where, that, where I got injured, dropping out of the tree. This is insane.
Okay, now that I have a save point, I'm going to pop out and pop back in. Jesus. Twenty percent condition hit from a bug. And apparently I'm wrong about the cave again, too. Yeah. I'm getting warmer now, though. Yeah. I'm gonna get back two cloth. I'm not gonna bother. Plus, if I can't find a cave, I might need <laughs> I might need the damn thing. <laughs> Where'd our wolf go? I can't have zero. It'll be fun, I said. We'll go to Forlorn Muskeg, I said. Condition recovery rate in a snow shelter is whether it's 34% or 32% or not. I'd rather not find out. So, if you've been to this forge before and you want to go back and you need coal, that's a, apparently a great spot for it. Pretty sure we're sleeping there, and then we're gonna go check out the overlook in the morning and head back. Maybe try and find that other wolf on the way out. I'm curious if there's two caves along here, though. I think there are. Of course. 
So this harvesting bug has existed for a long time. I haven't seen it come up twice in rapid succession in the same run for a while, though. If ever. I don't remember ever being afflicted by it twice, actually. Yeah, there are two caves. Okay. Thought I might be crazy for a minute there. But apparently not. I don't believe one of these is ever a bear cave either. I've never seen bones in one before. Also doesn't doesn't appear to share the massive coal deposit the other one does. How much scrap metal, if any, do I have on me? Just the pry bar, and the pry bar becomes two pieces, which is four arrowheads, which is not really worth it. Although We'll probably find something else over here. I'm I'm thinking about going to the forge. Just for the fun of it. So we got a bit of daylight left. And there's a bed there so we can get more condition back. Of course I'll have to sleep with a fire. We have a bunch of I'm not sure we have enough firewood to do Forging and sleeping. Hmm. I think we'll spend the night. Can't run now. Might be a fine time to read a book. This isn't dark. So dramatic. attention to water. Wasted a cattail. <clears throat> Came very close to making it. Alright, anything need doing here? 
I don't remember picking up mittens either. Huh. Nothing needs doing there. doing here. Nope. One more for for the road. Seven C in here. Feels like we have, yeah, we're good. Pretty confident we're good. Famous last words. No hypothermia affliction in the middle of the night. Always a plus. <clears throat> we're not completely dehydrated though, so we didn't get full condition recovery. We didn't get the full 10 hours. close are we to the <clears throat> outbuildings and stuff over here? I think by the time you get to the second cave you're pretty close. I'm going to take a quick look over here <clears throat> and we'll go down and loot the th place if it's not too far. Otherwise we'll head back and check out the overlook. Might be a storm. <clears throat> There's a sapling over there. Looks like it'd take about seven hours of thin ice negotiation to get to it. I'm exaggerating, of course. I picked up my bedroll. <clears throat> cool. Hello, Birch. I don't see any wolves in the ice. I would I think I'd be dragging him out of there by now with scent. Stick bonanza. Circumnavigate the map. Could be fun. Uh, 
Oh, wow. That's three pieces of scrap metal. Which is six more arrowheads for ten total. stuff is buried under those. I also don't know. Oh, seven. Huh. I almost never get over here because I'm too chicken. What else am I missing? Hmm. So, where was that guy? their expenses or what? <clears throat> Do I want more arrowheads? I need to find some place to escape this cold. I'm pretty sure there can be saplings up here too. This also probably has sprains. <clears throat> this reminds me of the trail up Bear Creek be uh, behind the Rabbit, Rabbit Grove uh, cabin. Kind of like you'd never know it was here unless you came up here to look. See what the wolves are doing. <clears throat> so we got deer on the farmstead thing. And sound, yeah, we got wolves on the ice out there. Repositories for your hand. I gotta say, as, mi as much as I get infuriated with it, the sprain mechanic in this game is kind of cool. It, it, it really does get you when you're going over complicated terrain. It's, it's not super common. Sometimes it feels like it is, but really it's not. And, uh, everybody jokes about how do you sprain your wrist, you wouldn't even touch anything, but I believe the spirit of it is that you it simulates a fall where you can sprain your ankle or your wrist by, you know, if you land on your wrist wrong or whatever. That's that's how it feels to me. But 
It's still frustrating as hell because I like to mountain goat, but I get where they were going with it, and it, and it, it does make the game more challenging, even though it's super annoying. So, I still haven't decided whether I'm forging a bunch of arrowheads or if I'm just dropping off a bunch of crap here and warming up. So, I definitely got way too many sticks and the scrap metal is kind of better left here than... I did leave a pot here. That's funny. What's in here? Bunch of coal. I think I'll just leave this stuff, warm up. Oh, we got a wolf. I dragged him in off the, the musk egg there. Where was he? I heard him. Where the hell is he? Holy balls, that sounded close. It like sounded like right on me. Very hard over here to the right. It's very strong in my right ear, but I can't see him. That was the, the damn geometry kick out thing. I'm burning condition, just trying to kill a wolf. Well, I guess we're forging now. a blizzard you might as well make some arrowheads pretty sure that's a common saying Okay, now our decoy is not quite so decoy. Let's 
see. <clears throat> first things first. Harvest. Yeah, the inferior pry bar must be harvested. something, but I don't have enough food to really justify eating early. I had no idea this was going to be a forge run. I just overfed the furnace, didn't I? I got it way too hot. Okay, good to know. Well, I think about it. <laughs> There's a ton of food right there. I better have it decoy on me when I go, but then drop it before I harvest. Although, if I was going to pull any wolves, I would have pulled them by now. Oh. Or would I have? That's pretty sweet. Do some water. I think I can do another hour. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally can. Yeah. 
ask. <sighs> Cooking meat in a pot is a little bit faster, they say. see what we get. Might as well eat this one. <clears throat> and one for bedtime and one for tomorrow. <clears throat> torches are going to be good. So. I think that's being paranoid. Of course I got enough time. Okay, food. <clears throat> Should have made a tea. Still could, I guess. Safe enough, famous last words. Not as much condition as I'd like to have. But we shouldn't lose much today because, um, Oh wow, that's a ton of time. Alright, we'll do more water. I think I'm actually just gonna... We're getting close to time. I think I'm just gonna... Cruise through this water. That gave me a save point. And we're going to end this one here, and then we'll pick it up, and we'll... Uh, do we head back? Via Marsh Ridge and whatnot, or do we go...
Might as well finish walking around the place, I guess. So yeah, uh, next episode we'll be uh, walking back over to Mystery Lake via the other side of the the, the rest of the map, um, the other two corners or sides uh, via the Marsh Ridge corner. I don't think I'm going to go up on Marsh Ridge, but I am going to check out the Signal Tower. Well, that is, eh, I don't know. Anyway, I expect we'll be down back through Milton or something on the way back at some point. So, anyways, uh, yeah, tune in next time. We'll be headed out. Uh, the the rest of the way around Forlorn back to Mystery Lake. Thanks for watching. See ya. And welcome back. We are at Spence uh, Homestead. Just forged some arrows. Spent the night. Woke up. Just making a little water. Um, gonna head out and finish going around the outside of the map on the way back to Mystery Lake today. Didn't expect to come forging, but we found some scrap metal. So we found a pry bar and some simple tools. We tore down and got 10 more arrowheads out of it so and that was kind of cool um, and then we get to see the rest of the outside of the map uh, which is I think kind of cool but that's me so anyway I just got to finish boiling some water and then we can probably start moseying because the next stop is a cave that's really close by so uh, we can warm up there we don't have to wait till afternoon to start moving This cave we're going to go to is actually a better place to spend the night if you don't have any fuel here than this place. Do I leave that pot or do I bring it? I think I bring it. I forgot it last time. I was—I definitely meant to bring it back last time. I was going to eat that. Eat this. Traveling food. <clears throat> kind of low on cattails. But... We're about to go to more coal, too, so I will leave this here. Not that four pieces makes a huge difference. Well, I guess it would make some... Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's move out. It'll be interesting to see if there's actually a wolf up here now. Because we've killed a bunch from the area. I don't know if that includes this guy or not. I guess what this amounts to is uh, making some arrowhead heads and rounding up some saplings, and I guess getting some bow skill points, tearing up our uh, original bow. So I am not going to crest that ridge because there is definitely a wolf there a lot. Instead, I'm going to go over here. Try and wow. They do not want you to have good visibility. Okay, well that's clear, so now we can go back up here to use it to see down on. Oh I think I see him. Yep, there he is. He's making a beeline. He wants to get some sweet, sweet wolf meat. path are you going to take? If you're going to take a weird path, I'm not going to give you a wolf treat. Okay. Things just got more interesting. Oh, this is bad. Very, very bad. Very, very bad. Very, 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 very... Oh, God.
Well, shit, that didn't go well at all. I did not expect a second wolf there. Shit. Well, that means we get to start over in uh, <laughs> Hush River Valley again. Or we get to start over anyway. God damn it. That run was going so well. That, it just goes to show... <laughs> You never know when it's coming. <laughs> that wolf was confused, but the second wolf is what did it. I, I could not. Yeah, and they're both from opposite sides. Uh, yeah, that was rough. Well, I can do this as one video too. <laughs> You guys are going to be shocked to find a, a perfectly timed one-hour episode ending in f utter failure. <laughs> Good times. Jeez. Well, thanks for watching again. <laughs> See you in the next one, where we're going to be starting off a, a new run. <laughs>